Hello again. Uh, we continue our explanation of uh, bivariate, bivariate analysis and this time we'll be covering categorical and categorical so when the two variables are of type categorical uh, I'd like you to get your pen and paper ready if you're taking notes because I'll, here I'll be explaining the chi-square test by giving an example and it's quite interesting hopefully you'll find it useful in the future before we begin again let's remind ourselves of where we are we're doing data exploration we're doing by bivari bivariate analysis we've done numerical and numerical and now we're covering uh, categorical and categorical so we have here chi-square test bar charts and uh, the two y-axis plot let's begin the bivariate analysis for categorical and categorical, we have three methods or three ways of, of doing it. Stacked column chart, combination chart, and the chi-square test. The stacked column chart is actually a useful graph to visualize the relationship between two categorical variables. What it does is, it compares the percentage, the percentage that each category from one variable contributes to a total across categories of the second variable so we have percentages uh, from the from one variable yes the percentage from one variable percentage of each category how much that category contributes to a total across the categories of the second variable as the figure here shows so we're dealing with percentages I hope that actually uh, makes sense I hope you can actually um, see this uh, the data here is about age of people and the use of contact lenses so here we have young and you can see the percentage of soft contact lenses of hard contact lenses and none they don't use the percentage of people who don't use contact lenses we here we have um, presbyobic and for pre presbyobic presbyobic we have uh, that much of people who use soft contacts that much of people use hard contact and that much of people who don't actually use contacts and then for pre pre spubic that much that much that much these are percentages as we explained here the second way or the second technique is using combination charts a combination chart uses two or more chart types so two or more chart types to emphasize that the chart contains different kinds of information here what we do is we use a bar bar chart to show the distribution of one categorical variable and a line chart to show the percentage of the selected category from the second categorical variable so we, we have a bar chart and a line chart the combination chart is the best visualization method to demonstrate the predictability power of a predictor in the x-axis against the target in the y-axis uh, this figure here shows us the temperature and this we have a bar chart of uh, for temperature here we have the count 5 10 15 so we have high temperature maybe 10 times uh, uh, low temperature slightly less than 15 times and here we have the o-ring failure in percentages and then we use the line uh, chart so this is combination of a bar chart and a line chart the third technique is the chi-square test and this is where I want you to get ready and get your notes and pens ready to write down notes now the chi-square test can be used to determine the association between categorical variables it is based always remember this it's based on the difference between expected frequencies and observed frequencies so here we have frequencies of things remember and we need to figure out expected frequencies because we will have observed frequencies so we'll have these already and we need to work these out and there's a technique I'll show you how to do that in one or more categories in the frequency table the chi-square distribution returns a probability for the computed chi-square and a degree of freedom so what the computation does it returns a value and then we can work out a probability and a degree of freedom out of that and we can judge things now using that probability a probability of zero shows a complete dependency between the two categorical variables 
and a probability of one means the two variables are independent. Uh, Chopra's contingency coefficient measures the amount of dependency. So if there is dependency, then this coefficient measures the amount of dependency between the two variables. Always remember, I'd like to repeat this, that we are dealing with frequencies. We have observed frequencies. We'll have this already. Or we can we need to calc or we need to basically work the uh, find this through maybe an experiment and then we need to work out the expected ones using uh, uh, some probabil probabilities and percentages now let's have some equations because we'll have a, a, a frequency table then we will have columns and rows we'll have cells the chi-square is the summation over all the columns and rows of n minus e square of e n now is the observed uh, a value and e is the expected value we need to work this out we divide by the expected value i and j now stands for the rows and columns that, what that means is we'll do it for every cell in our uh, frequency table now the expected value is n i times n j over n what that means is what we do is to work out the expected value for every cell uh, we take the observed number and I'm, I'm sorry no we'll come to that so here this is, this is what it's doing we take the observed number we subtract the expected number square that and divide by the expected number and we can create the summation that's the chi-square now to find e the expected value yes to find the uh, expected value of a cell what we do is we multiply the row total by the column total so we have remember we have a table so we take a cell and we multiply we have summations on the sides I'll show you an example we multiply the row total times the column total and we divide by the overall sum or by the global sum and the degree of freedom is R minus 1 times C minus 1 R and C now stands for row and column so R is the number of rows C is the number of columns R and C here and here are number of rows and columns and then the Chopra contingency coefficient is uh, the square root of chi square over n times the square root of c minus 1 r minus 1 so n times square root of degree of freedom enough talking let's have an example let's say we have a contingency table or a frequency table and we're trying to uh, you know find sort of the um, <coughs> We, we, we're trying to check whether there's a significant difference in uh, you know the hair uh, whether there's a significant relationship or significant significant dependency of hair and eye color for some people um, I think this video is taking too long but I'll continue because I want you to understand this so we have people here with black color uh, I'm sorry black eyes green or blue eyes other uh, other eye color and we have people here with uh, light hair and dark hair now these ones here these values 32 12 14 22 6 and 9 these are the observed values and here we have the sum of the, the first row the sum of the second row the sum of the third row and here we have the sum of the first column and the sum of the second column now to work out the expected value of each of them what we said w before was we said we multiply the sum of the row by the sum of the column and we divide by the overall sum this is the overall sum 95 so these should sum up to 95 and these should sum up to 95 yes again if you remember from the equation we said ni times nj over n this is the uh, overall uh, sum of the row this is the overall sum of the column we multiply by the uh, external or the global sum so here for this one here to work out the expected value 24.1 what we do is we multiply 44 times 52 44 times 52 divide by 95 for this we multiply 44 times 43 divide by 95 this 36 times 43 divide by 95 and so on and so forth to work out the uh, expected values after that we apply the equation where we said um, uh, the way this is done is by uh, for every cell we take the observed 
value we subtract the expected value so here for this cell for example 32 minus 40 24.1 we square that and then divide by the expected value divide by uh, 24.1 and then we add that to we sum that up all for all the cells so we repeat the same thing for the second cell third cell fourth fifth and sixth and we sum up the uh, uh, we sum up the result now for this table we end up with 10.67 that's the chi square uh, the value of the chi square now what we do with that value is the following please remember this what we do with that value <coughs> is um, we look up the value or uh, 10 in the chi square table so we, we have a chi square table we look up the value that we look up that value in that table uh, for degree freedom of 2 for example of course degree freedom is number of rows minus 1 times number of columns minus 1 which is uh, 2 and we can find the probability is 0 0.005 and then we can compute the chopper of uh, uh, contingency coefficient using the equation we explained here chi square over n times square root of degree of freedom degree of freedom is the same value as this and the result will tell us that there is a significant dependency between the two categorical variables here in color because as we mentioned before if it's close to zero zero shows complete independency so if the probability is too small that means the probability dependency is uh, 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 significant yes and I hope that makes sense thanks very much for watching I think this video is actually too long I apologize I always try to keep them short I'm gonna stop talking now thanks for again and see you next time